Hello everybody, Mark45 Studios here, and happy third birthday Skytrain. It's been three years. Three years of success, three years of fast, rapid transportation. Three years since the first section was completed for the Pacific Line. Three years. First year, Pacific Line. Second year, Rodeo Tunnel. And third year, the Metro Line. Three years of amazing service. To celebrate his third birthday, or his third anniversary, I will be giving a review. Because I am the co-leader of the team that made this in my own city. Today, these are my thoughts on the lines, which ones are the best, what I think of them, and perhaps what I, I suggest they could do to improve the lines. Let's get started. First and foremost, my, the best line that I think that we've ever created, the line that I like the best, goes to the Gordilla 10 line. Mainly because it runs underground. Um, and also the station's a very good design. It's the longest. Um, it's smoother than the Pacific Line. Lots of amazing underground station designs. Um, I don't know, it feels so like fresh when you enter just one of the stations, like one of the stations of the Gordia 10 line. And obviously at the end it's gonna be an elevated guideway, but it's good. When the, co when the f exploration video for this line was released, I thought it would fail. Because it was hard flying with an underground railroad. So it was pretty good. The best station of all is obviously its terminus, the St. Vincent Castle station, because it's the only station that's made out of quartz, lots of banners, the only island, like central platform, with one platform. It's darn cool, man. It's pretty cool. St. Vincent Castle station was one of the hardest ones to make one of them, but not exactly the hardest. There were even harder ones to make. And just having a travel underground makes it helps nature, I guess. Also helps spacing problems. And running underground does represent the stealth of Guardiola 10. So yeah. Best station design I think so far that's above ground it goes to the St. Tyga station. It's basically two it's separated. Normally the stations have a connected rooftop, but this is one of the few stations with their own separate um sections, I should say. They don't they're not connected really. Like the rooftops aren't connected. I just feel like this is the best station that I've designed because in this project and the Metro Line project, my role was the, was the station designer and builder, and I think this is a station that, I've, that I'm proud of, that I've made. My second best goes to the Small Swarm Station. This one was... I actually didn't know what I was doing when I was designing the station. I'm like, so I'm making one that looks like outside, but in the end, it looked really good. Like, I was so proud of myself when I did this. But this was only the first step of my architecture. Just wait till you see when I show you the Metro Line stations. You know, I have my eyes. The 
best underground station that's underground um surprisingly goes to the city of mar 45 station and no i am not bragging because this is technically my station but it actually looks good all right i'm not bragging it actually looks good this is the only underground station with a double of a bridge access to the platforms although you can look you can tell it's a little bit uneven uh, because you can see on the right platform is actually uh, wider than the left platform wide enough to fit a chair <laughs> so it's a little bit off but I still think it's the best because of the redstone light ceiling and the giant T-shaped pillar that's supporting the ceiling and if you guys didn't know on top of the station is the village like the village of my city so it would be extremely hard if this was built on an elevated guide I mean I'd have to remove my entire village would be very sad or I have the station floating on top of the village which I don't think the villagers would like so having it underground like this is the best option. It's the best. The second best underground station that I think I've designed for the line goes to the last underground station before the tracks go on the elevator guideway and emerge out of the tunnel. It's station 1.8. Yes, we've heard complaints of this station being extremely close to the Mount Mitrigo station because it actually is extremely close. You can literally walk between these two in like a few seconds. I'm not even kidding. But why did we make this station? Number one, for because this was a border crossing between two cities. Number two, this place is actually one of the most overpopulated sections of the city, so we need two stations to support the line. And why do I think this is the, this is the second best? Uh, let's see, it's one of the biggest biggest underground stations. Um, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of um, center platform stations. I like them on the side, but we do have a lot of center platform stations near at the end where the St. Vincent Castle is. So, yeah, and this is pretty big, so two pillars are required to support the ceiling. I don't know, I just think this is the best. The second best. It's actually better than the Mountain Treba station. Alright, my second favorite line of the Skytrain network has to go to the recently opened and finished the Metro line. When the ex exploration video was released, I actually did have trouble filming because I was using a broken controller. So I tried my best to make it good. That's why in some of the Metro line videos, when I was walking up the stairs, I just seemed to stop moving and I had to end up jumping to keep moving. I guess it's my controller. I don't know why, but I will get that fixed soon. So I tried my best to make them as good, as good looking as possible. But anyways, why the Metro Line is my second favorite? This is when my architectural skills threw me right to the top of the list. The stations look amazing. My whole team said that. I was never in charge of the stations for the Pacific Line. Those were designed by Matt123. No wonder they look so crappy. And these ones are by me, same as the Gordillo 10 line ones. And I'm just blown. I'm in, I'm blown away by my own work. How cool is that? I mean, sure, the Withers Mountain one doesn't look that impressive. But come on, there the one I have some other stations I'm pretty proud of. I have four. Actually, no, really, no, not, no, not four. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, I do have four. <laughs> okay, never mind. I do have four favorites. The best station I like in the entire line has to go to the Witch Hut station. Just look at the design of that cover. It's so good. I mean, come on, look at this from a different angle. It looks amazing. That V-shaped style cover. Oh. I wish I could have done that for the Gordio 10 lines. 
stations, but these ones were amazing. Um, but these, this one actually was one of the hardest ones to make, because, you know, you gotta work hard to get something good. And the entrance to the station was what, you know, made the station look crappy. But who cares about the entrance? It's the design itself. Oh my gosh, this, this roof is... I'm so proud of this V-shaped roof. Using slabs and quartz blocks with a little addition of spruce wood planks and slabs to touch it up, look in the style, to have some more variety such a plain old white roof. I'm s I, I can't believe I just made something like that. Alright, the second best well, has to go to the Mount Finklin station. If you didn't get a chance to read that text there, it said it serves a major role in the line, which it does, because it connects to the Pacific line as well. As you can see, the additional tracks on the bottom, and has th Vegas station, and is the only station with three platforms, because one of the platforms serves the Pacific line terminal. So this station was amazing. It took us, took me, because I made the stations, so freaking long to make the station. I actually timed myself. It took me the entire afternoon. No joke. Station was actually the one of the most proud. I'm actually super proud of it because the guideways and those stuff were actually also designed by me. Cause um, they didn't know how how I was going to make the station, so I end up making that guideway section for them. And because you know, since this is a multi-line station, and I made a own separate tour video for it, cause. This station was amazing, right? And obviously it's gonna be confusing, so that's why I had to label everything up. Well, this specific line is this way, which one is the other way. And remember, um, I keep stopping and jumping because of my broken controller, so I was walking kind of weird. Um, the sky, I did a lot of glass roofs to make like a skylight feeling, have more natural sunlight coming in instead of putting a bunch of torches all over the place, even though I did just for the night time because you know any nasty sport in the trains. And yeah, the well, three a three stage space three stage three platform station. Uh, one center, one side. Um, the Pacific Line platform is much bigger than the Metro Line ones. Um, as you can see my control is broken. The platform 3 shares with the platform 2, and yeah, the platform 3 one, this was the first, no, okay, when I built the station, I made platform 3 first, just in case, because I wanted to see where I was going to put, um, where the metro line was going to start, I wasn't so sure, but when uh, Gaming and Vincent, the guy who made the guideway, brought the guideways over to left my spot, I was like, okay, this is where I'm going to put in the metro line platforms. So they end up going there, and as you can see, I have three pillars, um, you can ignore them. As I was saying, you can see there's three pillars, one, two short ones, one big tall one in the middle, just to give it more of like a, I don't know what to call, like a house feeling, and the woods are made out of fresh oak wood planks, uh, cut from just grown trees, obviously I'm advertising here because there is no such thing in Minecraft. And as you can see, the Pacific Line guideways are at the bottom, which will connect back together, enter through a tunnel, and then go back to the Fernandland Swamp Station, where it will settle its way all the way back to the land of Madeline the Three. As you can see, the Metro Line guideway styles are different. They're much larger, wider, and taller than the Gordia Tank and Pacific Line ones. Because the Pacific Line and Gordia Tank shared the same T pillar and three block wide guideway style. Now this is the best part of the Metro Line, the best part of the entire Skystream network, the Sky Bridge. This was designed by Game of Vincent, and I have to give him credit for this amazing design. Just look at us. Actually, no, it was by Gaming of Vincent and Tools S Gamer. Two guys worked on it. So, as you can see, there is two giant pillars with the little rope thingy 
um, attaching to the stone guideway. And this was supposed to cross the ocean, as you can see, into the land of Gordula 10. And it's... Oh my gosh, I can't say anything about it, it just looks amazing. This is why the Metro... I would have made the Metro line my favorite line, but... Oh god, Gordula 10 line was better, so... This has to be the second, like, best, it's just, oh, it's so good. Now, coming after the Sky Bridge comes my third favorite station of the line, Lincoln's Mountain. It's one of the classic side platform stations, one of the very few side platform stations of, stations of the Metro Line, because the Metro Line has a lot of centered platform stations. This station pretty unique. Even the entrance looks nice for the right? um, It has once again a glass ceiling to the sky It's roof design is what makes the station stand out. We are this roof board and it's the skylight is on the say glass or giving us the aesthetic light in the mouth of the roof. And it's the one station on a side platform. So, making the station good, the other thing is once again crappy. Crappy entrances, because the key to a good station is the station itself. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm not saying it's terrible, it just looks good. Yes, when it was first designed, it wasn't that good at but it could get some good. I mean, the station is still not that good. It's simple and broad, and like you see, the Gordia 10 and Metro Line stations, these ones are not that impressive. It does serve stations in lots of major privileges. Generated monuments um, like the stronghold, uh, the Yes, and the service is spawn, which is super important because that's where the movies are coming from. So the line is The only good station, I should say, is the tiny new station. It's not romantic enough. It kind of looks like Yeah, 
access and convenient way to access the metro line because the Pacific line will connect to the Northern Horn Station which is the terminal as the Pacific Station is built. So, I guess it's in. It's good. I mean, well, the Northern Horn technically belongs to the metro line, not really for the Pacific line. The newest part of the Pacific Line, the oldest, runs between the city of Mark 45 and Fulton Village. Super old, and it'll probably get a, a renovation, or not really, like a guideway repairment soon, and track repairment. So I guess that's a good part of the Pacific Line, but overall, I think the Pacific Line could get better improvement, you know? Anyways guys, that is it for this video, that's all my thoughts, and that's all I have to say about this, these three skystream lines that we've made, and once again, happy third anniversary skystream, three years of great service, three years of amazingness, the, the three lines, the metro line, the pacific line, and most importantly, the Gordy Latin line. Anyways guys, that's all for it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for any new videos that I upload. And once again, happy third birthday, Skytrain. We appreciate your three years of great service. And I'll see you in the next vid. Goodbye.